it's really hard to uh, and 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 Bell, I'm sure you've studied and thought about Neep quite a bit. Um, it's amazing in a small light that you think about how willing people are to be terrible and to do things you never thought could be done. And then you think about how willing people are to do things that seem beyond our capacity for, uh, you know, thinking of other people and the charitable nature within us that sometimes we can tap into. And I, I, I'm just, I, I'd love to hear about how you thought about that character and if you could, how you could feel what she might have felt in those scenes where she's risking her life for somebody else, somebody in some cases she's never even really known before. Well, I think the important thing for me to remember is that she did, she didn't want us to see it as a really huge heroic act. You know, her kind of mantra until the day she died was, you know, I'm not, you don't have to be special in order to help others. It's where the title of our show comes from. It was a quote that she ended all of her talks with. She'd say, no one should ever think they have to be special to help others. Anyone, even an ordinary secretary, housewife or teenager can turn on a small light in a dark room. And if I kind of put her on a pedestal and thought of her as this like big unachievable hero, I think A, that would be doing her a disservice, but also would make it much harder for me to play her. It was a much easier route in for me to, you know, see her as this kind of every woman and remember that she wanted everyone to see a bit of themselves in her. She wanted me to see a bit of myself in her. Um, yeah, I think that made it much more achievable for me. Otherwise, it would have been too overwhelming, I think. And also, yeah, wouldn't have been respecting kind of what she, how she wanted us to see her. 